The next option in SOAK is Kibana which is a free and open source user interface which is very useful for the security analysts. It allows you to visualize your data stored in Elasticsearch and navigate the Elastic stack. You can track the query load to recognize the way requests are flowing through your applications. We categorize the data inside Security Onion based on the module and the dataset. Kibana lets you quickly analyze all of the several data types produced by Security Onion through a single pane of glass. This visualization-based analyst tool pulls the events and log data together which includes syslog events into a single pane. These events and logs include NIDS slash HIDS alerts, system logs, ZEEK logs collected security onion sensors. From Kibana, you can pivot to stenographer's full packet capture, PCAP via security onion console. If we filter for the ZEEK module. You can see Zeek datasets within Zeek con logs, HTTP logs file logs. And that's the first major way that we categorize data, by module and then by dataset. So datasets are, you know, subsets of logs inside a particular module for Siricata. If you filter for that, you'll see that we just have alert data. The other major way that we categorize data is through event.category and we have four major classifications, alert data, file data, host data, and network data. For alert data we have four different alerting engines, Playbook, Circata, Waza, and Zeek. Playbook allows you to generate alerts based on Sigma alerts, with network or host data. Circata is our network intrusion detection. The rules generate alerts based on network data. WASA is a fork of OSEC, it generates alerts based on primarily host data and logs from host and Zeek. We get Zeek alerts from network data. Let's take a look at another tool that is listed on the Security Onion console. The Hive is an open source and open source security incident response platform, which is tightly unified with Malware Information Sharing Platform MISP. It is convenient for the security operation centers, SOCs, computer security incident response teams, C-CERTs, computer emergency response slash readiness teams, CERTs. It is also helpful for any other information security expert dealing with security events to be investigated and represented upon quickly. Our next category is going to be file data. For file data we have Zeek which extracts out files from the network. It runs some analysis on it, generates some metadata. Then we also have Strelka, which grabs those files and does further analysis, specifically using your signatures. Next up for event.category, we have host data. Host data spans quite a range of different logs and data types within the endpoint specifically. We have support for OS query, host data, sysmin. WASA, Syslog, Windows Event Logs, and many many other data types. Our final category is Network Data. If we look at Network Data, there are quite a different datasets that we can run through. If we click on one of these, let's say our connections, we'll see lots of different ways to visualize the data using Kibana, by source IP, destination IP, destination port. Again. We can do some filtering through this. That's Kibana, and combining sources gives you the ability again to visualize your data with dashboards and it also gives us a good way to look at how we categorize our data by module dataset, and also by event.category. Once you click the Kibana link, you will be redirected to Kibana dashboard and you will see links to other dashboards as well. As you search through the data in Kibana, you should see Zeek logs, syslog, and Syracata alerts. Logstash should have parsed out most fields in most Zeek logs and Syracata alerts. Kibana provides you the choice of selecting the way you give visualization to your data. It has various visualization options like histograms, line graphs, pie charts, sunbursts, and more. As shown in this slide, you'll be able to slice and dice your elastic search data allowing you to find insights and present them in meaningful ways. Kibana has multiple tabs on the left side and top. Kibana spawns a new browser tab and it loads up Kibana. 
you'll notice that these new cabinet dashboards look a little bit different from previous versions of Security Onion. They have been streamlined, redesigned to work much better especially on large enterprise networks where you're dealing with many many millions of logs. The first thing that you'll notice here is that we have dashboards grouped into categories. For example, you might want to start with the alert category and inside of the alert category we're going to have different modules for example Playbook, Suricata, Zeek and Waza which are based on network traffic. When you select Suricata, you can see some IDS alerts coming from Suricata which monitors our sniffing interface. If we click on the Zeek module, you should see Zeek notices coming from Zeek monitoring that sniffing interface and much more. In the home dashboard, now let's take a look at our next event category which is file. So, under file we have two modules namely, Strelka and Zeek and in this version we do not have Strelka currently enabled. Hence all of these files should be coming from Zeek monitoring the network traffic on our sniffing interface. In this screenshot, you can see the different file names, different sizes and the different MIME types seen in those files now. The next option we have is host data which spans quite a range of different logs and data types within the endpoint. Let's go back to our home dashboard and we can take a look at the host event category. Here we could see OS query, Sysmin and WASA. You should enable OS query during installation. Finally let's go to the network event category and so this is going to show all of those Zeek logs that come from Zeek sniffing our network traffic on our sniffing interface. It gives us a broad overview here on the network dashboard itself but then there are also individual dashboards for individual Zeek logs like the connection log. By clicking on the connections dashboard, we would be able to see the details of source and destination IPs destination port and connection state and so on. Indicator Dashboard is another option in Kibana. You can fetch all the information you require about a particular indicator from this dashboard. Here are just a few listed such as UD, source.ip, destination.ip source.port and destination.port with hyperlinks. In the home dashboard, we could find all of our different datasets such as HTTP, FTP, DNS and much more. You can really drill into any of the datasets since these datasets are hyperlinked. For example, if you consider HTTP logs and want to analyze them in detail, you could click on the HTTP hyperlink and that will take you to a new dashboard now called Indicator Dashboard. This new dashboard is going to show you information such as source and destination IPs, destination port, etc. as we have seen in previous dashboards. Indicator Dashboard is also going to show you the log panel at the bottom which will allow you to drill into these logs. Kibana makes use of multiple hyperlink fields to quicken investigations and decision making based on security events and data. When the transcript option is available, we can click the hyperlinked ID field as shown in the image allowing an analyst to pivot to stenographer's PCAP transcript via PCAP interface. Clicking on that will take you to Secure Onion console and it will retrieve the full packet capture for the TCP stream. Here you can see the GET request and the web server's response and notice they are color coded. The request messages are highlighted in blue and the response is highlighted in red and of course, you could download that as a PCAP. In this slide, we discuss the configuration and timestamp settings in the Kibana dashboard. If you want to configure Kibana, you need navigate to the following location in slash opt slash so slash conf slash Kibana. However, the most configuration of Kibana is maintained and managed with salt. And if you make any modifications manually in slash opt slash so slash conf slash kibana, the updates will be overwritten in the subsequent salt update. Salt is a set of scripts formed to manage multiple security onion sensors. Kibana dashboard will display timestamps based on the time zone of your local browser that you use to deploy security onion console. If suppose you wish to select timestamps in UTK, 
you can navigate to management and advanced settings. Generally, the search results displayed on the dashboards and available through Discover are restricted to initial 10 results for a particular query. As a security analyst, if you feel this is not adequate for narrowing down your search results, you can alter the value for Discover sample size in Kibana by directing to management, advanced settings and altering the value. It would be much better to update this value incrementally to see how it affects the performance of the search results.